Something, help me stop her. She's gone completely mad. And what do you want us to do about it? If you're not capable of controlling your own wife, you surely don't expect us to arrest her for you, do you? <laughs> you the doves. Why didn't your husband come? He always comes home empty-handed. All the money disappears in the tavern and in dice games. If I didn't think of our children. <laughs> Hurry up and pay me quickly because he's following me. Go now, go. Where is she? She stole my doves. What do you mean? Where are you going to find another woman like her? Instead of losing your temper with her, why don't you give up playing dice and start taking home the money you earn? Oh, you've got to say your piece too, huh? Oh, everyone's against me. I know what I'll do. Go and divorce her. That's what I'll do. <laughs> as though no one else existed. Just us, gathered here before God, to pray. He who prays shouldn't be a hypocrite like those who stand up in the synagogues in order to be seen. It is the Father who has to see you, not men. When you pray, do not waste words like the pagans who think they will be heard by the force of their voice. Father knows your needs even before you ask him. Lord, teach us to pray.
When you pray, say these words. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but free us from all evil. I want to divorce my wife. She doesn't respect me any longer. Has she betrayed you with another man? No. Well, does she neglect the house? No. Does she not look after the children properly? No, no. Well, what more do you want from your wife? She took my doves and sold them. So she robbed you? Uh, well, I, I, uh, no. Well, what did she do with the money then? Uh, she'll buy uh, food for her children. Wouldn't uh, you have given her the money then? Uh, uh, well, well, she, she was afraid I'd lose the money playing dice. going in such a hurry to hear Jesus of Nazareth who's that the master yes him oh I want to see him too is the kingdom of heaven. If you do not become like these children, you will not enter the kingdom. And whoever becomes small like this child will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Just one word, Master. There are things that you say that we don't understand. told that you said it is unlawful to leave one's wife. Yes, I did. Do you not know that in the beginning, God created man and woman, and then said, man will leave his father and mother and join his wife, and they will become as one. As one, no longer two. Therefore, let no man break apart that which God has united. But Moses permitted the act of repudiation and allowed us to send our wives away. Moses taught you thus because you are hard-hearted. But I say to you, whoever leaves his wife and marries another commits adultery. And even a wife who leaves her husband and marries another commits adultery. What arrogance! Do you think you are superior to Moses? Did you hear him? I have not come to abolish the law of Moses, but to complete it. As long as there is heaven and earth, not the smallest word, not even a comma, may be altered in the law of God. But this is blasphemy! How dare you speak in the name of God? Tell us then why your disciples break bread without purifying themselves. They do not wash their hands according to the ritual. Listen to me carefully. There is no food outside of man which may contaminate his heart by entering his mouth. It is that which leaves a man's heart and mouth which contaminates him. Wickedness, slander, deceit, that which a man does with his hands, thefts, murders, 
The fault is certainly not that of his dirty hands. Well, do we have to wash our hands or not? Of course you have to wash them. But if you're wicked, you'll stay wicked. The prophet Isaiah said of Israel, This people honors me with their words, but not with their hearts. You obey the rules made by men, but neglect God's teachings. You hear that? He doesn't respect us at all. Jesus of Nazareth, go back to Galilee. You will be punished for your teachings. We will report you to the Sanhedrin. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites who shut the doors of the kingdom of heaven before men. You may not enter, and you prevent those who would from entering. What do you want? Jesus, today I wanted to divorce my wife. I was angry with her, but not any longer. Now, I finally understand. Daniel, whatever's wrong with you? They made fun of me, booze. Some boys threw stones at me and said, guess who, Daniel? Forget all about it, Daniel, and come with me. Where are you taking me? Rabbi, please listen to us. Have mercy on me, Lord. I've been blind from birth. It's the fault of my father, who is a miserable sinner. No one becomes blind because of someone else's sins. He is blind because it is God's work. And now he has seen the light. What's happening? Help me, Booze. Go and wash yourself at the pool of Silo. Are you Jesus the Nazarene? The one they call the Messiah? Go and wash yourself as I told you. Let's listen to an imposter who claims to have been miraculously healed. Is it true that you were blind up until this morning? Until today I was blind. I was blind from birth. And what happened to you? 
Jesus put mud on my eyes and told me to go and wash myself. That man was not sent by God. It is against the law to heal people on the Sabbath. your blind son, Daniel? Yes. And how is it he can now see us? This morning, Daniel, Daniel was blind. I have no idea why he can now see us. I'm only an ignorant old woman, and I don't know why. Woman, you are lying. Tell the truth, boy. We know that Jesus is a sinner. I don't know if he's a sinner or not. I only know I was blind and now I can see. But what did he do? How did he heal you? I've already explained and you didn't listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Are you thinking of becoming his disciples? You are his disciples. We are the disciples of Moses. But this Jesus, who knows where he comes from? Well, isn't that strange? You don't know where he comes from, but he opened my eyes. If Jesus wasn't doing God's will, he wouldn't have healed me. Huh? You were born a sinner, and yet you dare to teach us. We who are doctors of the law. Who is he Guards! Throw them out of the temple and make sure that they never enter it again. They no longer belong to our faith. Is it really true that you can see? Of course I can see. For the first time today, I saw my mother. For the first time today, I could see my hands, people, the things around me. Oh. The only person I haven't seen yet is he who healed me. I was blind from birth and now I can see, thanks to Jesus of Nazareth. Do you believe in the Son of Man? And who is this person that I should believe in him? You have seen him. He is speaking to you. <sighs> I believe, Lord. I have come to give sight to the blind and to take it from those who can see. You think we're blind too? If you were blind, it would be no sin. But because you say we can see, your sin remains. During the period of his preaching, Jesus often invited those who were listening to become part of the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom he was preaching about is not just a symbolic image. This kingdom is actually made up of a great number of souls, of children, women and men, who from the beginning of time have chosen and will choose in the future to live according to the law of God. Theirs is the kingdom who love God above everything else. Theirs is the kingdom who love their neighbor as themselves. In short, theirs is the kingdom who have renounced sin to follow Jesus. Jesus says to each one of us, come and follow me to my kingdom. Each one must give his own reply. Jesus invites everyone. He takes no account of color, race, or nationality. 
makes no difference to him the beauty, the form, the wealth, or the intelligence of those who follow him. He is only interested in the sincerity of their hearts. This is why the kingdom of God proclaimed by Jesus is a kingdom without frontiers beyond all time and space. One already begins to hear of the kingdom of God in the Old Testament in the very first books. God is creator, the Lord of the whole universe, the king. In the language of the time, king meant the supreme leader of a nation or country. According to the New Testament, Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, continues the kingdom of the Father. The kingdom of heaven is near, Jesus repeats. The announcement of the kingdom, according to Jesus, is an announcement of the kingdom of love, the very heart of the gospel message. The kingdom of God is promised particularly to children, to the poor, to all those who similarly are powerless, poor, and have nothing, but entrust their whole existence to the love and mercy of God. This is why Jesus objects to those who would keep children from him. Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. The kingdom is of the meek, the merciful, the peacemakers, those who are persecuted unjustly for being a Christian. Jesus teaches us to pray as children. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come. 